we're back with Conspiracy 4 of Spongebob, the evolution theory. Apparently, this is like three theories put together in one. All right? Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chillin' Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good, holla squad? We are... The Litter Squad on the YouTube platform. This is day we're back with another reaction. And we're reacting to SpongeBob Conspiracy 4. Shout out to Alex Bell. Super dope channel. Make sure y'all go check it out. I'll always link the videos down below in the description. Okay, so y'all make sure y'all go check that out. But before we do that, make sure y'all smash that like button. Hit that sub button. We just hit big 7K. Clap it up for y'all. You know what I'm saying? We did it. But we got we we need 10k by the month. So if you're watching this, hit that sub button. We do great, great things on this channel. <laughs> I love y'all. Let's get it. Let's get it. SpongeBob Conspiracy 4. I'm interested to see what we got. I heard Over this the is the craziest one yet. The result of nuclear radiation. Oh, huh, what's good, my guy? Girl's mother. What is the Krabby Patty secret formula? All right, I'm guessing the Krabby Patty secret formula is crab meat. It gotta be. These I don't are know by Pearl's far the mother. Three biggest questions in the show SpongeBob SquarePants. And today I'm going to be answering all three of them and more with just one theory. Get ready for the darkest SpongeBob conspiracy you'll ever see. This is the evolution theory. Oh, this is about to be tough. This is about to be hold on. Let me Ah yeah. We're back with another Cryptic SpongeBob in the building was good, my guy. Guess I'm the SpongeBob guy now. That's that's all I make. You guys sure love these SpongeBob <laughs> theories. Alex Bale out with another video. Yes, sir. Of Fire. SpongeBob interfere, put in their own message. Hey, my guy got the tin for you. That's dope. I, I like this dude. I like this dude. You people, with the conspiracy you behind. Sends the doctor in. He's not really a doctor. He's just trying to. He said Alex Bale is the Illuminati. <laughs> infiltrate that little round thing on his head there oh my god thank god for alex bale look at facts that. he's helping me prove my point you know what that is i awesome. like this guy who is he some of you love them a little too much conspiracy you know, carl other videos right i i make films and stuff too anyone want to watch those anyways i'm gonna start watching far, those. the most popular spongebob theory out there is the bikini atoll nuclear radiation theory it's pretty simple it's been confirmed that bikini bottom is actually beneath a real life place called bikini atoll from 1946 to 1958 the united states did nuclear tests there devastating the area and leaving it radioactive even to this day the theory states that the reason why the citizens of bikini bottom can talk and have formed advanced societies is because of mutations caused by these nuclear tests that look and like a meat canyon drawing theory. right there i ain't gonna lie tons and tons of videos about it <laughs> of them actually go in depth with it or really look through the show for evidence but hey, we're not going to talk about that Alex warriors Bale loss is okay making a theory on it then it's not going to be some baby surface level analysis i will watch every single episode of spongebob Facts. i will read every page of the goddamn wikipedia if i'm making a theory on it then you guys know it's going to be good and once i really started looking into this theory i realized that there is so much more here than anyone thinks get ready because today we're going to be solving the biggest mysteries in the history of spongebob right, i'm Square ready i'm Pants ready and changing the way you look at the entire Entire show. So without further ado, let's begin the theory. The Bikini Atoll Theory. In order to find out whether the Bikini Atoll Theory is true, we first have to determine whether fish talking and being so intelligent is unique to Bikini Bottom, or if that's just the way the SpongeBob universe works. Mm. You know, it could just be that all animals in this world are able to talk, and that's completely normal because at the end of the day, SpongeBob is still just a cartoon. Well, mm -hmm. if we take a look at Season 10, Episode 10, Feral oh. Friends, we get a <laughs> bit of a hint about how the SpongeBob world works. In this episode, a green moon appears and transforms all the characters into less cartoony, real-life versions of themselves. Just like in real life, they can't talk and end up trying to eat each other. The French narrator is watching all this unfold and he says this very important line. I have been monitoring the behavior of the green moon all day. It is called Neptune's moon. Every 100 years, it de-evolves everyone in Bikini Bottom into primal fish. Every 100 years, it de-evolves everyone in Bikini Bottom into primal fish. So this implies that the characters in Bikini Bottom are more evolved and were once like these primal fish. But this doesn't prove that the evolution only exists in Bikini Bottom. That sneaky son of a gun. Oh, 
Oh, it could still be a worldwide phenomenon. <laughs> Remember that bonus DVD clip I found in my television theory? It was about humans studying fish in Bikini Bottom because of their intelligence. Land-loving scientists have tried to learn the secrets of intelligence. Their studies led them to the sea, where the citizens of one undersea colony demonstrated a genius so enormous, the scientists felt compelled to record their actions for use in teaching mankind how to live better. This makes it sound an awful lot like the fish in Bikini Panda, Bottom what's actually good, what's good. are uniquely evolved, and it's not some worldwide phase. Then, in the SpongeBob 20-year anniversary special, SpongeBob's Big Birthday Blowout, uh -huh. we get a major piece of evidence for this theory. SpongeBob and Patrick take a tour of the surface world and eventually go to a fish store and see some very realistic, less evolved fish. What kind of monsters would want to keep fish folk in jail like this? They're so beautiful. They can't talk back to SpongeBob and Patrick, and they're actually able to swim freely through the water instead of being affected by gravity. They are clearly showing us that both evolved and primitive fish exist in this universe. Bruh. Yo, I thought these was just cartoons, bro. I thought they were just... I've been bamboozled. Let it stray. Hoodwinked. Lied to, okay? This man, Alex Bell, got me questioning everything I ever watched on Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney Channel. This is crazy. Universe ...at the same time. Now, sometimes we've seen Bikini Bottom characters represented as realistic fish like this, but only when they're out of water, never while they're still in water like these fish. Facts. We even see this again in the beginning of the third SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run. The movie opens with a coral reef full of these realistic primal fish, but eventually we get to Bikini Bottom where the more evolved fish live. So there you go, direct proof that the citizens of Bikini Bottom are uniquely evolved. This is a very deliberate world building choice for the creators to make. So I guess that kind of confirms the that proves that theory. one bro. theory confirmed that one wasn't that deep Woo! though i feel well, like the pearl hold on or the krabby patty is going to be way deeper call this theory complete there's actually one major piece of evidence that gives me some resistance something i've never seen anyone else bring up when talking about this theory prehistoric bikini bottom We've seen oh, episodes yeah. like Ugg with or SP SpongeBob nine that yep. showed Bikini Bottom millions of years in the past, but we still see evolved versions of SpongeBob and Patrick. Sure, they may not be super intelligent or advanced, but they're still clearly way more evolved than the primitive, realistic versions we Facts. see in Feral Friends or in the Fish Store. So, how are we seeing these evolutions millions of years before the Bikini Atoll tests? Well, unfortunately, I think the only conclusion is that the Bikini Atoll theory just is it true? I mean, clearly something has caused Bikini Bottom citizens to be uniquely evolved, there's no denying that. But whatever caused it took place millions of years ago and couldn't have been the Bikini Atoll nuclear tests. Then, mm. what really caused the evolution? In the entire show, the only thing we've seen that directly affects the evolution of characters is the Green Moon and Feral Friends. <laughs> Except the French narrator specifically calls it Neptune's Moon. It okay. is called Neptune's Moon. Named after the ruler of the seven seas, King Neptune. Yep. King Neptune is a character who's been around since the beginning of the sea. He's a character who the Bikini Bottom citizens view as their god. And he's a character who has the ability to change fish into other forms. What the? Nope. King Neptune used his magic to turn the fish of the sea into more evolved subjects for him to rule over. He's the one who's been behind it all this time. Now, I could spend this entire video talking about King Neptune and his weird continuity and contradictions in the show, but I'll save that for another theory. What I'd much rather talk about are the implications of having evolved and primitive fish coexisting in the sea. Now, we know that this evolution isn't specific to just- Listen, th these theorists have been doing this on YouTube since- Oh, five, all right? And they got it all wrong. My man debunked this in like two minutes, bruh. Two minutes. It's Bikini Bottom. We've seen different cities and places far across the ocean Facts. that still have talking fish. Which makes sense because the marine life in Bikini Bottom has evolved to resemble humans. So it's no surprise that just like humans, they've expanded beyond Bikini Bottom and colonized other areas of the sea. Mm -hmm. But now I have an interesting question for you. What is the relationship between evolved fish and primitive unevolved fish? Well, they probably just peacefully coexist in the sea without bothering each other. You know, just like real life humans and animals. Facts. Wait a second. The war. In season 3, episode 10, the Krusty Krab training video, there is this hilarious, absurd moment when they're talking about Mr. Krabs. After the war, Krabs stayed secluded in a deep depression 
that seemed endless. Like, what war what happened the? in Bikini oh Bottom? They just tell us this and then completely drop it. But with this new context, is it possible that crabs fought in a war against these primitive wild fish of the sea? I mean, let's remember in Feral Friends, some of those de-evolved fish were massive compared to the evolved fish. Facts. And they immediately started attacking each other. Ah, uh, the battle for the survival of the fittest rages on in the animal kingdom. So yeah, in order for the Bikini Bottom citizens to survive and expand, they would probably break into some kind of war. And from the sounds of it, this war must have been pretty brutal to put Mr. Krabs into such a deep depression. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Is He's there actually any evidence that proves the war Mr. Krabs fought in was specifically this evolutionary war? Well, through the few flashbacks we get, we know that Mr. Krabs served in the Navy. And yes, they yep. were sailing ships on an ocean, even though they're already underwater. <laughs> this is actually they had a the real cool lagoon, though, certain you know? parts of the sea can have a higher level of salinity, and it looks like an underwater ocean. Facts. Shout out Miss Parks, look at, my look at me, look at me. teacher. We also know from maps of Bikini Bottom Sponge that the is surrounded genius, by this underwater ocean. So that places Mr. Krabs' war outside of Bikini Bottom where this evolutionary war would have to take place. Then if we took a look at Mr. Krabs' home, we see it is full of memorabilia from his past days in the Navy. But hidden within here is something that will absolutely blow your mind. All right, let me try to find it. I don't see it. I, I, I don't see it. And answer one of the biggest questions in the show. Hanging there on his wall is a picture of a massive whale next to a ship. You don't think that could be... No, it can't be. Pearl's mother? Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. That's Cap. I'm calling Pearl Cap. is Mr. Crab's whale daughter. The show never really explains how a crab can be the father of a whale, but most people just assume she was adopted. People have been speculating about who Pearl's biological mother is for years, and I think we finally just found our answer. We see two photos of this whale on a ship in Season 3, Episode 9, just one episode before we find out Mr. Krabs fought in a war. Since this is among all of Mr. Krabs' Navy stuff, I think we can assume that this is something he encountered and not just some random picture of a whale on a ship above the ocean. The whale is massive compared to the ship. Nice. We've seen adult whales in Bikini Bottom before, but they are nothing compared to the size of this whale. This has a much closer resemblance to Pearl when she de-evolved in Feral Friends and became massive. So this has to be an unevolved primitive whale, and the picture clearly shows them fighting. Not hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. So this has... Is this the green moon light? I mean, hold on, hold up. I'm getting into this now. I'm getting into this now. Whale, and the picture clearly shows them fighting. Not only does this prove that there was a war between evolved and primitive fish, but Mr. Krabs definitely fought in it. But this also implies something very dark. Mr. Krabs killed Pearl's mother. The only direct reference we get in the show to Pearl's mother is one of Mr. Krabs' many sayings, Mother of Pearl. <gasps> mother of Pearl! Mother of Pearl! Holy Mother of Pearl! He uses it in places something like, Holy Crap or Dear God, only saying it when something truly shocking or terrible happens, because he knows the terrible thing that happened to Pearl's mother. Why did Mr. Krabs go into such a deep depression after the war? Because he's haunted by what he's done, and the smoking harpoon to prove it is right there on his wall. So, that leaves us with an important question. Why did he adopt Pearl? He After felt he bad, bro. Of mother, course. He probably realized she had an infant daughter who had the evolutionary genes. Instead of leaving her to die, he adopted her as his own. All while keeping the dark secret that he was responsible for her mother's death. That's Woo! crazy. Childhood ruined yet? Well, don't worry. There's still time. For First of all, you know how sick of a person you gotta be to kill the person's mom and have a picture of their mom on the wall in the house they live in? Crabs, you are a sick guy, all right? A complete and utter filth, all right? Filth. For this theory to get even worse, now is your chance to remove yourself before things get really dark. Uh oh. Part three, the part where things get really dark. Let's get Still it. Still here? Yes, okay, we are. So here's a fun question. What's the deal with all the pets in Bikini Bottom? How come most fish are basically humans, but a snail or a worm acts like a pet? Well, just like humans have domesticated wild animals, mm -hmm. it should be no surprise that evolved fish have domesticated primitive fish as pets. Unlike the massive primitive fish that the Bikini Bottom citizens had to go to war with, there's also smaller primitive fish like jellyfish, mm -hmm. snails, spirit worms, seahorses, and clams <laughs> that the Bikini Bottom citizens were able to form a symbiotic we relationship snow. with. Aww, <laughs> and I thought you said this was gonna be the dark part, Alex. They're living peacefully together. That's that's nice. Okay, okay, you got me. Here's another fun question. Where do the citizens of Bikini Bottom get their food? 
I mean, sure, some of it is plant-based, but there sure does seem to be an awful lot of meat-based food under the sea. I think you know where I'm going with this. The Bikini Bottom citizens eat primitive fish. Haha, <laughs> it's not cannibalism if they're less evolved than you, right? There's no moral dilemma there. In Season 3, Episode 13, we see direct proof of this when the characters go fishing for primitive clams. This is something completely normal in this world. And then there's the chum bucket. It's crazy that he said that because that's literally what people say in this world. Bro, like... Oh, cows, you know what I'm saying? They're less evolved than us. It's not, there's no moral dilemma. That's literally what people say, bro. <laughs> Alex, not, listen, I, I like, I like the pun you put in there. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Which sells chum. Chum. What is chum? Chum is literally just ground up fish. The show isn't even hiding this. Now, we don't really see too much of the meat harvesting side of Bikini Bottom, and I'm not surprised they're keeping it on the DL, you know, with the whole cannibalism thing, but there is one secret to making food that Hold is kept on. more secret than anything Krabby in Bikini Patty, Bottom. Krabby Patty, he makes it out of crab meat, bro. Entire show. You already know what I'm gonna say, the Krabby Patty secret formula. Yes, let's Throughout get it. the show, there's been lots of contradictory evidence about the Krabby Patty secret formula. In season four, episode seven, Mr. Krabs says it's an old family recipe. Your mother knows the Krabby Patty formula? Of course she does. It's an old Krabs family recipe. But in season five, episode one, apparently Mr. Krabs discovered it on his own by accidentally mixing random ingredients together. Scrap. I've done it. That's cap. I discovered the perfect patty batter. But it already got sometimes the crab meat in there. Formula, sometimes it's a book. Sometimes it's a secret sauce. And any glimpse we get at the formula is just random nonsense. There is a ton of contradictory evidence out there, but I think this might all be intentional. Ugh, it, all I got to say is kelp fries are made out of kelp. So Krabby Patty, Burger King, burgers, okay? Krabby Patties. Come on now. In order to throw people off, Come Mr. On, Krabs now. has spread misinformation about the Krabby Patty formula. In fact, he's already done this in Season 3, Episode 18 by hiding a fake formula for Plankton to find that says he's the secret ingredient. Facts, I remember that. Together with the most important I remember that episode. Four Plankton. heaping pounds of freshly ground... Plankton? <laughs> And the contradictions aren't just inside the show. Even one of the SpongeBob crew members once said that Krabby Patties are vegetarian and contain no meat. Cap. But I've always been That's a cap. little suspicious about what the creators say. They've also said that they're not allowed to show fish as food, except they clearly do with chum, clam fishing, and all the many, many gags where fish turn into food. It's almost like they're not allowed by Nickelodeon to publicly acknowledge this because that could create a controversy, but they could still sneak this dark secret into the show. So what is the true secret? ingredient where does crab the meat, meat really bro come, come on it's strange we never really see mr krabs get the meat delivered or at mm. least go out himself to get it it's almost like he has all the meat he needs stockpiled somewhere hmm all his what family primitive me meat can mr krabs have access to primitive maybe he's crabs. been holding on to something from the war hmm what could mr krabs have killed during the war oh no 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 you you not about to tell me that that is Pearl's mother. There's no way. I seen Pearl eat a Krabby Patty before. This man is not that sick, bro. He cannot be that sick. It's impossible. I don't believe it. Nah. 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 Nope. Nope. Oh. Or that he doesn't oh, want anyone no. to find out about. Something big enough to supply him with meat for years without needing more. Hmm. What could that be? You really going to make me say it? Mr. Krabs. He's a demon. He's a demon. This man is a demon. There's no Mr. Krabs. Not only did you slay her mother, but you raised her to eat her mother. All right. I seen Pearl eat a Krabby Patty before, bro. Mr. Krabs, this whole. Oh, my. Krabs is using Pearl's dead mother's carcass to make Krabby Patties. Woo! We did it. Yeah, we solved the mystery. We did it. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> Season 1, Episode 15, Sleepy Time. Mr. Krabs has a dream that he's on a boat fishing for a massive dollar. This is his memory of killing Pearl's mother. Except now, all he sees her as is it's money. And take a guess what name he calls the dollar. Pearl? What you doing, Mr. Krabs? Hey, pick a Neptune's bucket. What are you talking about? I'm talking about cold, hard, flipping cash. It's the mighty Moby Dollar. Moby Dollar. Dollar. 
a direct reference to Moby Dick, a story about hunting a whale. Are you kidding me? And that is the evolution theory. I warned you guys this would be a dark one. That's the crazy, The bikini atoll theory, King Neptune, Pearl's crazy. Mother, the Krabby Patty formula. We hit everything in this theory. Even if you don't agree with all of it, you gotta admit a lot of this makes sense. Eugene Crabb's aspirations for money and greed have caused him to do terrible, terrible things. At least his love for Pearl seems to be real. So maybe they're- This man, how old is Pearl? Pearl gotta be like 17, right? Cause she went out to like a party or a disco or somewhere, her friends. I don't know what age she was when you killed her mother, Mr. Krabs. But you have been feeding her mother to Bikini Bottom for how long? Oh my. There's some small amount of good in him. And even though Pearl's mother probably provides tons of meat, eventually he's gonna run out and he'll have to face what he's done. Well, unless of course there's another whale he has access to. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mr. Krabs wouldn't do that. He. There's no way he's raising Pearl to keep the business. There's no, uh-uh. Alex, don't play with me. Don't play with me, Alex. What y'all think, bro? What y'all think? This man is crazy with the fat. Bro, This Alex Bell is the greatest conspiracy theory channel I have ever seen, bro. Ever. He loves Pearl. He's not just raising her for Krabby Patty meats. Even Mr. Krabs isn't that much of a monster. From every side I've ever seen to the sweetest sound I've heard. Huh. He was well, just looking then, at his the daughter. That theory just gonna end it here before there's any more dark plot twists. You guys have been insanely supportive with these SpongeBob theories, so I guess I have to make more. I've been your host, Alex Bale. Thanks for watching. Cap, that's not it. We got more time on the video. There's two minutes and 50 seconds left. This man's the goat, boy. The goat. He about to feed the thing in the, uh, in the, in the, in the, in the I thought it was crab meat. There's no way, bro. It's no way. Uh, hey, just want to let you know that I, uh, I think I'm going to take a break from the SpongeBob videos for a little bit. Okay. Uh, it's not you. I mean, me. I mean, the videos are great. People, people love them. It's just, I think I want to go back to making actual films for a bit. Uh, oh, okay then. Uh, thanks for everything. I guess I'll just Pearl goes to college. See you around. Was that an episode? Is that plankton? Is that a big plankton? When I found you, you that job of the hut noticed and unloved. But now you have millions of views. You have sponsors. Why would you forsake them? I just, you know, I don't, I don't want to really make these videos forever. You know, I don't want to be known as the, the SpongeBob guy. <laughs> My boy, you really think they will care about your little films? I am your muse. I have given you the gift of. It do sound like Evil Patrick. Kinda does sound like Evil Patrick. A Meat Canyon collab would be fire. All right, fire. Knowledge. If you wish to go back to anonymity, then be my guest. But I know who you really are. Hey, there's a number five. I don't know we gonna get it. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, sir. Hold <laughs> on. Bro, oh, hold up. That's his Patreon. Make sure y'all go check out his Patreon. $2 a month for bronze, $5 a month for silver. 
ten dollars a month for gold. Okay. Listen, listen, Mr. Alex. Oh my lord! I got, I got to type. Lord. Hey, look, y'all go find my comment on here, bruh. and like it. All right, bro. Listen, this man is the goat. Not only, bro. Alex, bro, what other cartoons do you know the conspiracies to? We need those, bro. What? This man. Look, we all thought, we all thought that Plankton was the antagonist of the show. Plankton, occasionally Squidward. I guess Squidward is like an anti-hero, right? Plankton. And Plank, Plankton's the only evil one, right? We thought he was the antagonist. Turns out the real antagonist of the show is Mr. Krabs. Not, oh, he's raising his daughter. <laughs> then he gonna take Neptune's moon, turn her back into the old whale, and then kill her. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, this man, Mr. Krabs, must be stopped, bro. He has to be stopped. It's no way. Hey, look, listen. Ali, hold up. We got we got nine more seconds. He said make sure we watch to the end, okay? I don't know if he snuck any clues in here. All right, that's the end. Listen, first of all, not only did he disprove everybody who had the Anatole theory, he proved all of them wrong, all right? He proved it wrong. He debunked it and said this was really going on. Mr. Krabs fought in a war. He was a pirate. He worked on a ship. He killed Pearl's mother. Put her in the biggest deep freezer. We don't even know where the freezer's at, bro. He might have chopped her into pieces and put her in different freezers. He sells her as the number one item in, in Bikini Bottom. <laughs> this man's a sicko, bro. He's a sicko. He is a sicko, all right? Listen, y'all let me know how y'all felt about this down below. View crew. Make sure y'all head over to Twitch or on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I stream on YouTube also. Make sure you join those lives because we lit. Y'all seen this? Y'all seen the stream team to the side this whole look, there's the stream team. What? Shout out to the stream team, but view crew. Make sure y'all smash that like button. Hit that sub button. We are almost to 10K. We are 3K away. Uh, but until next time, we out of here.